this child should have never been fucking taken from you and they somebody maybe somebody worked either they were worked you know they in law enforcement or they knew somebody in law enforcement okay and they abused their power this child should have never been taken from you this child loves you. You love your child with all your heart and soul. You could have tried to reach out to the to the karmic father many a times to you know, or whoever has this child reached out many times, but they were blocking. They were blocking your calls, your messages. They would hang up on you, flip out on you, or just not reach back out to you. And yeah, this is your child. I feel like, oh, buddy, and yeah, they're finding out the truth. They're finding out the truth. A brother possibly could have this child. Or a grandparent or or the father or the mother, you know, put the, put the rules where they fit. This could have been your firstborn possibly. You're also being told the only reason why this child is still away from you right now, they're coming back in, but it's for their protection. And it's because of what's being gone, like what's, what's happening. You already understand this. You know this, I feel like. I feel like you already know what's happening here. But if you don't, I'm going to fill you in. What's happening here is they're being protected right now because you have... Um, a target on your back and there's about to be this great fall from 2018 right something that's been going on since 2018 possibly sooner all right i mean i mean even or sooner or or maybe even longer than that okay um god is allowing this child to not be in your life right now only for the fact that it's for their protection and it's to finish this whole thing up and there's going to be like a takedown that's going to be taking place right and these people are going to be taken out of your life and and especially because i feel like this is your firstborn right so if anybody that knows anything about the firstborns and everything else you already know i don't have to explain anymore all right so but i feel like you already know this you're aware of this and this is why you're staying so patient and faithful in your faith and yes if that's what you're questioning that's exactly what's going on here and you're being told to remain um remain in your faith and just remain patient okay it's so he's coming back in okay honey he's going to be coming back in he's going to i feel like confirmation 9 33 on the clock okay september 30 or september <laughs> september 33 never mind <laughs> but yeah 9 33 on the clock okay um they're coming back in. It's just for their protection, okay? And because the whole firstborn thing, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, because I feel like these people that have been attacking you, they don't really know much about your child because this child could have got taken from you before these people came into your life, right? Um, or at least most of them. And, you know, it was very painful for you to talk about this child um, because how much, you know, how much it hurts that this child's not in your life. And it's your baby you know it's your firstborn um of course like that's you know you let your everything you know what i'm saying um but that's why this is happening and that's the only reason and it was also a learning experience and also because of whatever you were going through you know since then since you're you know while this was all happening it was for your child's best interest because of these karmic people what they were plotting and planning to do to you okay so i hope you understand what i'm saying without saying too much to give things away to the karmics and you know to the cross watchers but don't worry your baby's watching you your baby's protected you're protected um they are going to be coming in okay and I'm also feeling like not only are you getting your child back, but you're also getting a union, um, a love union as well if you're not already in a relationship, okay? This couldn't even look like, you know, the father. But I feel like this is a twin flame. These look a lot alike, a lot alike. I feel like it's a twin flame. And again, a twin flame is like looking in the mirror, okay? Like he's actually really are similar like you look uh, very very similar to each other because you were once one soul that were split into two you feel me that's why and it's like it's twin you know twin uh, but be they're in emotional pain somebody's in emotional pain they could be watching you and in emotional pain because they were lied to about you 
they were turned against you. I don't feel like this child ever turned against you, but they tried, these people, whoever had this kid, they tried super hard to turn this child against you, okay? And um, they're finding out the truth, okay? You might, it's, this might cause you emotional pain too when you, I feel like it is obviously your baby being gone, but you're gonna be so happy to have your baby back that you're not even gonna worry about the lies of trails, okay? The main thing you're being told to focus on is that you have your kid back. You're gonna have your child back. Fuck all the, the lies. Who cares about anything, okay? Just as long as you have your child back, that's all that matters, okay? And that you're safe, you're, you're, that your children are safe and that you're safe, okay? So any of the lies of trails, you're being told to let it go, all right? to let it go and forgive these people for what they've done and see the higher um realign your thoughts to a higher perspective as and realize i feel like you already did this though and you you already looked at it a higher perspective as to you know what i mean um why this happened and you know it was actually you know um in 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 a sense, better for this child because now imagine if this child was with you while you were going through this, okay? And especially with it being your firstborn, okay? You gotta you gotta put that into perspective here, okay? Because you know what I mean. So just be mindful of that and just know you're getting your baby back and everything's okay. They love you unconditionally. They never, um, they never stopped loving you. You never stop loving them. You know they're your heart and soul, right? And they know that. They know that now. They know the, the truth, okay? Um, somebody you might be passing away, possibly. The person who took this child from you or the people that took this child from you is going through major bad karma, okay? Extremely bad karma. Um, something about a brain aneurysm or something to do, like, well, after they took this child from you, not surely after, I feel like something major happens, like, to someone's health. The person who stole this baby from you. All right, and then now they could have been older. They could have been like, you know, 10, 11 years old when they were taken from you, but like, or they could have been even older. They could have been a teenager, but just please realign your thoughts to a higher per perspective and look at it as though at least your child was in safe hands because they were, they weren't abused. You know, they were taken care of. They were, their, their needs were definitely met. They were eight healthy. They had, you know what I mean? And, you know, um, they were subjected to the torture that you were okay so they were in a loving home all right um maybe a little too loving in the sense that the grandmother or the parent that had this or whoever had this child was smothering okay it was too smothering they need to cut the cord like you know to their own child let alone you know what i'm saying oh somebody needs to cut a cord cord cutting possibly to whoever has this child do a cord cutting to that but not to your child but absolutely not especially with that little stray here okay um now going back to this karmic person they're just trying to come in to, to attach another cord because you cut the cords and they had no access but fuck that person who cares we want to get back onto your child okay now so um your child is an earth angel as well and this is why it was you know better okay i know it's hard to hear it's hard to but just hear me out okay it was better because they were subjected to this negativity and this the gang stalking um the torture and everything like that okay so please just keep that in mind all right yeah somebody else these other people are in deep emotional pain after getting a reading done and, or watching your readings and finding out what was going on and who you are and how great your life is and how horrible their life is okay Yeah, you look at you, you look so much alike. This is your twin flame and your child. It's your twin flame and your child that's coming in. And it's divine, these are all protected, divinely protected, divinely orchestrated, divinely guided. And, you know, yeah. Your eyes could change colors, possibly. You could have, like, sometimes green eyes, sometimes blue eyes. They could change colors depending either on your outfit or, um what you wear or either what you wear either by or your mood okay it could change on your mood now i'm looking at his eyes and they're green they're they're like a hazel green right i feel like this is your twin flame that's your child right um your child you know that's your child this is your twin flame right now 
with me, my eyes change colors depending on my mood, what mood I'm in. When I'm really upset and crying, they're usually mainly like a greenish color like this, but they turn blue sometimes. And then when I'm crying, they, they look the coolest. They literally turn like a neon green, yellowish color. They're really beautiful. Your son could have either blue eyes or possibly like these hazel brown eyes. Like in the summer, they could lighten up to turn in more hazel. He could have eyes like that. I'm, I'm strongly getting it. And it's because he has the brown eyes from the father, okay? Okay, but there are lighter and they still change colors, possibly like a hazelish green, like almond color sort of. Um, in the summer, they lighten up because he gets that trait from you, but he gets the brown trait from the father, right? They could somewhat look like this a little bit in the summer, but a little bit more brown, more like brownish, yellowish in the summer. More so like this, possibly, I would say. But then, like, you know, through in the winter, they turn, like, like a brown. And that's another thing, okay, maybe with the, with the weather, okay, the seasons, they could change, okay? But I'm also looking at this as, like, just going from my, from how my feelings are with, with, with my eyes, how they go from the, the sometimes blue, sometimes green, um, and to that neon green color. I feel like this person is watching you. They, your, your twin flame, and they're in deep emotional pain, possibly. They could be upset. They could have been crying because they found out who you are. They were lied to about you, heavily lied to about you. And they watch your readings in tears, um, finding out what you've been through. All right, or they got a reading done and it made them extremely upset um, when they find out, yeah, you might be traveling, okay? You could possibly be uh, leaving, you could be moving. Maybe you're about to move, okay? Someone got a reading done and found out you moved or you're going to. I'm also getting, they got a reading done and found out about you rapidly progressing, right? The, this travel card is also making me feel like somebody's getting arrested because this reminds me of the prison van. Like, a, um, you know, when you go from the county to upstate or like the feds or something like that, the prison van, or it could be a sheriff van. Some, there could be a um, a warrant sweep. Somebody could be getting picked up in a warrant sweep. There, somebody could be having house raided or something like that. But you're, you could possibly be traveling. Your person could be <gasps> coming into you. Somebody could have a um, a freckle or a beauty mark on their cheek. Possibly their left cheek. Doesn't have to be. It could be either side. And it's either like a beauty mark. Not. It's either like a beauty mark or like a freckle or something. Okay. Where'd it go? I seen one flip. I know I see one flip. Where'd it go? There it is. Lust. Somebody could be getting arrested for some nasty ass shit they were doing to you. This karmic ass masculine. Like I said, somebody could have, ooh, somebody has STD from being nasty. They could have been going around lying on you, saying that you had an STD so to get people not to like you or want to sleep with you. All right. And they know you're a healer. They know you can heal them, but they're that's why they want to come back in, okay? But I'm strongly getting they were going around saying that you had something that you did not have. Now, if you go around saying that shit, that's what you're going to manifest in your life. It's going to be your karma, especially this person that... um is completely obsessed with you and this person gets passed around like the town's bike everybody gets a ride they sleep with anything and everybody they're so obsessed with you because you won't give well it's because your beauty but because they you won't give in to them i feel like this person could possibly know your twin flame possibly or you know they so i feel like they lied to your twin flame and said that you were a hoe this that and the other they found out the truth okay um they found out the truth no that this person was losting over you and this person is not going to be they're doing sex magic on you too they're confused why it's not working um they're gonna pass away from an std they're not gonna be able to heal from this also they're going to prison for sexually um assault uh, sorry guys uh trigger warning for sexually harassing you and possibly sexual assault okay somebody's also watching your readings and and watching your pictures or videos and touching themselves ill um to you it's this karmic masculine they're in deep emotional pain because our truth has come out about them and what they've done to you and why you truly blocked them because they were doing weird shit like this to you. They could have been like, you know, trigger warning. They could have been like touching themselves in front of you. Um, and they're always trying to be touchy-feely with you, always trying to touch up on you and, and 
they constantly would hit on you like like beyond beyond sexual harassment okay it was beyond sexual harassment you had enough you finally had freaking enough all right and you moved on and i strongly feel like they had a child right they had a child and you felt bad for this kid because you loved this kid and i feel like you used to babysit this child you knew that this child was not being taken care of um correctly okay so you stuck around because of their child but finally god told you no you had to move on it's getting too serious and you need to cut the cords you need to stop okay and you listen to that and ever since then they've been going past you crazy over you and now and now they're in deep emotional pain okay they're heartbroken somebody's heartbroken because they found out they have some sort of uncurable disease or maybe they've been known they had it they both are there he pimps his girlfriend out okay he sleeps with like prostitutes all the time and with anything he can get his hands on and i feel like he's so used to because they're like drug dealers too right they they're so used to just going up to people and just handing them throwing them drugs and getting be able to sleep with them right you are never that person you don't do that you don't get down that way and that's why they're so obsessed with you and, and so mesmerized and like you know hypnotized by you is because you're the only one that's you know an earth angel that's in your that has strong heavy strong boundaries that you do not lower your your um boundaries or your you know what i mean you would never do nothing like that okay even if you ever did do drugs or alcohol or anything you would never stoop to that level ever but they went around saying that they were sleeping with you and that they did this that, and the other but didn't make sense because one they would be making people think they're lying to people making people think that that you are with them that they were sleeping with you but then they would go around telling people you had an std so how does that make sense Tell me how that makes sense. So what are you trying to say, sir, ma'am? What are you trying to say? You're trying to say the collective has an STD so that people want to sleep with them, but then you're going around saying that they were sleeping with you. That they were, that, like, how does that make sense? You did not sleep with this person. You do not have an STD. You are extremely healthy. And it's starting to show how unhealthy they are. And this STD, whatever this is, or this disease, and it's something to do with sex, it's making, it's showing on them okay this person does not look the same as they did before since the last time you saw them somebody's trying to change their appearance too because they know that they, that the authorities are on to them this person could have a warrant for their arrest or somebody has a warrant for their arrest or something or they know they're being watched so they're trying to okay for instance if the person has a, is like is normally bald right they have a bald head they're going out and they're wearing wigs okay they're getting wigs or um say if they usually had long hair they're cutting their hair okay or something like that also there's a person it could i'm strongly picking up on an ex that is losing their hair they're starting to bald they're getting that like that horseshoe shape you know what i mean um in their head they're losing their hair and it's because of what they were doing to you all right Fine monkey. Yeah, you're a high priestess. A high priest or a high priestess. A uh, high priest or a high priest. Priestess. And you're a very powerful one, too. When they found this out, they were very confused. They're very much lusting over you. You just bitch ass flying monkeys. Okay? This is what you do for work, too. Okay? You do something with your spiritual gifts. I feel like you're a reader. This is what you do for work. All right? But these bitch ass flying monkeys, they, all these, um, ops okay they're blocked they're trying to act unbothered but they're they're watching your channel like mesmerized okay seeing how powerful you are and how tapped in you truly are all right they're trying to go around you know on your platform and turning people against you to try to say that and leaving stupid ass comments but they're being watched doing this okay you have this these idiots blocked okay and you're you're supposed to, you could be 38 years old or somebody could be 38 okay we have 38 here but this is what you do for work you're you're a reader somebody's a reader here or you're going to be a reader, okay? You're an earth angel, okay? And everyone sees this. They're watching you at work and see how much love and how, how nurturing you are, loving, caring you are, okay? How much love you give out to people. And someone's going to reach out to you at work. It could be your divine counterpart, possibly your baby, your son, all right? And it's protected, and your work is protected, too. Somebody tried putting something in your food. This person's done that to try to lust over you. Um, trigger warning, you might end up finding out, um, you might find out that, you know, they could have drugged you at your house and um, took advantage of you, okay? They could have recorded this and went around showing people that um, 
saying it and making it seem like you slept you did not ever sleep with this person um they might have taken advantage of you like i said they would come into your house when you were sleeping i mean when, oh shit i meant to say when you weren't home so maybe when you were sleeping what the fuck and whatever you're doing for work with your reader is keep showing up okay you're exposing these douchebags and you're getting a solid foundation all right and they also had cameras in your house and they were selling it. They're doing something, they're recording you without your permission, without your consent, and without your knowledge. All right. And they were selling it online. You work from home, I feel like. I feel like you're a reader. And this is why you're working from home. Now, this is why you have your own business, is because all the people that you were around, they just were doing everything they could to stop you, block you, and just sending you negative energy. All right. And like, every time you would have a job, these people would do everything they could to try, they would, you know, they would either come to your work, starting bullshit to try to get you fired, all right, or they would, um, somebody could be going into labor, somebody could be going to, into labor at their house, possibly, you could be having a midwife, possibly, or, um, somebody could be having a child at, at home or something like that, labor sticking out to me heavily. Yeah, and, but yeah, okay, so what was I saying, um, before that, oh yeah, or they would either, like, do that, or, like, without your knowledge, without your, you know, they would call at your work and make false, um, uh, allegations about you, for some, they also paid a boss to, to fire you, and, um, you know, they, they did a lot, and they didn't want you to, it's because they didn't want you to have anything, they wanted you at home, because they were recording you without your knowledge, and they were staging shit, okay, because crazy self sells, right, they were making you look unstable, make you look, um, crazy, and they were, there was something about snuff film here as well, a snuff film is when they record you, like, a, um, you being tortured, okay, and, like, you know, and then, unaliving you and actually selling it on like the black market or some weird shit where they have feel like it could have went into like another country or something your landlord was involved in this okay as well but again this person this weird ass neighbor of yours was lusting over you and they had cameras in your house and or their their girlfriend they, they pimped their girlfriend out right their girlfriend gets pimped out and they're recording their girlfriend but then pretending like it was you okay yeah, they're doing a ritual and they're trying to attack your work, but it's protected. You're being told no matter what happens, okay, you cleanse your energy and you're, you're, they're doing work or they could be doing food magic on you as well. Make sure you're praying over your food, okay, removing any um, food magic or anything like that, returning back to source. We have 44 here. Now, also, um, they're sending work, they're doing some sort of ritual on your work and possibly your foundation, your, your finances, but it's not working. They're watching your readings and finding out that it's not working, or if it does have any effect, just be mindful to stay in your faith, okay? And know that whatever's taken from you, you're going to get back plus some, all right? And that's going to, and the more you learn that and you trust 1 million percent in God, the, the better the outcome's going to be, okay? Guys, can we get these lights up, please, and thank you? They have entity attachment. I already told you that. And they're evil-eyeing you. They're also lying to people to get them to evil-eye you. Yeah, yeah. this douchebag has an entity attachment. Their house has, um, is, is also... They're not going to be able to heal from this. This entity is taking over them. It's taking over them. It's a sex demon, and it's taking over them. They're evil-eyeing the shit out of you. They're, they're also lying about you to causing illusions, okay? Um trying to say that you you got your shit from doing some sort of negative energy shit but no people see they're 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 confused as why their evil eye shit's not working why the people and it was for them to, to attack you too but they're starting to see that these people are just fucking weirdly creepily obsessed with you they're also evil on you because you won't sleep with them okay you don't want nothing to do with them they're fucking creeps dude this person's starting to look like the, the entity's taking over them they need to stop playing around in witchcraft and shit they buried something in your yard. Somebody buried something in your yard. It was supposed to, it's to attack your finances. They could have been putting graveyard magic around your property, okay? Or they buried something in your yard, okay? And it was supposed to um, to slow and freeze up every, like your stuff, okay? Like your crops and stuff. Um, it's not working. It's going back to them. They're watching you and evil on you because they're seeing that it's not working. 
Now, go check your house, okay, especially your roof, um, and see if there's great if there's dirt on your roof. You need to get a power washer and wash that shit off because it's graveyard magic. If you see dirt on your porch or you know in your driveway and stuff like that, um, or your sidewalk or around your place, it's the graveyard magic. Wash that shit off, okay, and return it back to to the source. It could be a mature man that's doing this. That's actually actually very immature. All right, guys. Um, they're getting they're here actually let me do this i'm gonna put, put a different um uh thing on that all evil eyes go blind and that anybody that's wishing you ill will or anything negative that they get their karma okay hold up where's that it's right here within 10 minutes of this they'll have their karma Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and Loved Ones that have no way. What is the collective need to know? Travel. They're trying to run. Oh, because I know the travel. <laughs> See, somebody's doing a ritual on you, okay? For your forward movement. They didn't want you to have any forward movement. If you went, if you traveled at all, if you travel at all, they were trying to get you to come into an accident, have an accident or something. And this is backfiring majorly. They're trying to have you bound down and out. Somebody could have tried to plant the... Um, to kidnap you and unalive you all right that's not working they want to come back in and attach a tort a cord to you all right they're doing some sort of fucking dumbass ritual they're trying to run this was first right they're trying to run because they know they're about to go to prison and also um they're trying to block your forward movement it's not happening they're doing work they're doing rituals on your work and your love life your 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 readings okay Guys, again, make sure you're protecting your energy before watching any readings. I don't care if they're collective readings or personal readings, okay? Um, make sure you're doing, uh, you know, you're protecting yourself before and after, all right? And I already know, since I did that reading and I told you all about that, I already knew. Like I said right from the gate when I told you about this, it's going to put a target on my back. I already was fully aware they're going to try attacking my platform because, you know, a bunch of karmic readers are going to do it because they're pissed off because I blew their cover. But oh well, okay? That's what you get for being karmic, and this is exactly why God sent me here to, to do these readings, to help these um, help the collective, all right, protect themselves from your bitch asses, all right? Your karmic as fuck, knock it off. They're trying to do work yet, yeah, so it's only returning right back to sender. You could have cleansed this energy away. You're heavily protected from this ritual they got a reading done and or they're watching your readings and they're finding out now that you, you know you are you're 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 um that it, you're too protected from it and it's going back to them now they're trying to outrun karma and they're trying to outrun this fucking um this uh this backfire you can't outrun it you dumbasses and, then, and this person's not going to end up passing away because of this it's it's going to happen someone's going to go somebody's getting locked up somebody's getting um there, like, it's either a, a, a warrant sweep, they're getting picked up on their warrants, or a house is getting raided, okay? Somebody's going upstate or to, to the feds, okay? Well, if you're in Jersey, it's called downstate, but here in Pennsylvania, in a lot of places, it's called upstate. Which is like the, you know, um, when you're doing at least, you know, 11 and a half to 23 months as a county bid. Anything from one, what, a year and up is, is state time, alright? But they're doing federal time is what I'm strongly getting is federal bondage okay they're trying to do some sort of bondage ritual like to have you bound down and out no get the fuck out of here now they're bound to this ritual that they sent out to you and they know it they're trying to send some sort of sex demon to you that would never work you're a fucking healer are they dumb god needs you that is why you have perfect health okay this is why this shit's been cleansed away all right because god needs you you're a healer None of their rituals are going to work, especially if they're attacking your health. All it's going to do is go straight back to them. Wake the fuck up and stop being stupid. You're a powerful healer at that. Soulmate, it got, it got caught. It's like they could have been, I'm strongly getting they're trying to astral project to you and they got caught doing this and the entity took over their bitch ass bodies. They got caught doing this. This is somebody that, you know, um, yeah, they're trying to astral project to you so they can do, so they can do something weird and creepy to you in your sleep or, you know, through the spirit they got caught and an entity ended up taking over their body god had enough of this shit they're over this person used to be able to astral project like you know very well they yeah this entity ended up when they did this this entity took over because and god allowed this to happen because this person was disgusting and creepy and really fucking weird all right this was like someone that could have been a soulmate of yours in like the soulmates come in friends family you know um loved ones pets you know plants even plants are living uh, you know are living so they are you know what i'm saying they're very they, they are very good for your soul okay healing for your soul as well 
confirmation see now but yeah this person got out of their body they got trapped okay and now this entity the sex demon they already had entities attached to them and this thing is going to take this this entity is pissed off and this is because this entity is actually a loved one of yours it's a soulmate of yours that's protecting you and whatever they summoned up as well they try to summon something up to attack you and your finances and it was actually a part of your soul tribe okay this entity or whatever it's like a part of you okay it's one of the people that are from the, the dark side that's protecting you okay it's a dark side it's like part of your you know you have the, the light and the dark protecting you no that does not mean that you work with the with the dark that just means god has the the light and the dark protecting you this person this, this entity was very offended when it was summoned up to attack you know you okay when it's you're part of its family or something like it's you know it's a, it's part of you like you know what i mean it's, so they're like yeah yeah sure go ahead we'll do this yeah no problem why don't you go go ahead how about you go astral project to them right now they tricked them and then took over and this this entity is taking this person's life it's from this ritual backfire they're also trying to do a ritual so that you'll come into union with your with your person. They're doing they're doing a lot of love spells, separation spells. They're doing a lot of bullshit, but that shit's not working. And they're not going to be able to heal from this. Okay, they're trapped out of their body. Somebody's trapped in the five D, and the entity has literally taken over them. Somebody's name could begin with a D. It looks like a D right here in his throat. <sighs> Pathway. Yeah, you're on the right path, sweetheart. They're not. They're in a path of darkness and destruction, while you, my darling, are in a path of holiness, great, greatness, and um, divinity, okay? They realize they went down the wrong path. They're very jealous and envious of you and your, your you know, your light, your shine. They know you're on the right path. Holy Spirit, one. Rich guy. There's a rich guy that's watching you. That could be evil eyeing you. This person could be rich or they're not rich no more. It could have been a boss of yours. I'm also getting whatever you're doing with your spiritual gifts, okay? You, you, I strongly feel like you're a reader. You're about to be rich, okay? You already are rich. Claim that shit, okay? It's coming in. But there is a rich guy that's evil lying you. Confirmation. But whatever, we don't give a fuck. You're too balanced for this shit. You're very balanced, okay? They're off balance. They're completely unbalanced. But you're too balanced for any of this bullshit. And now that you are balanced, maybe there could be a rich guy that left you, um you know, a house in abundance, okay? They might be, and it's pointing right to you, okay? Right to you, the high priestess. Or the high priest, but the roles where they fit. They know this is why they're attacking you so much, because they know whatever you're doing, your spiritual gifts is going to make you rich, okay? And <gasps> this is why, um, this is why you're spiritually, you're extremely spiritually rich. You have no idea how rich you are in the spirit, okay? And, and protected you are, um, and now that you're balanced, I feel like somebody left, somebody that was rich, somebody could have been in the military, it looks like he's in the military, sort of, right? Um, somebody could have left you, um, abundance, okay? Uh, it could be in the house and finances, um, or, or whatever, and, and they could have stole it or something, but now maybe you had to be sober if you used to drink or, or, or have any toxic ways, okay? Um, no shade, you know, I used to do drugs too, you know what I mean? I used to drink, I don't anymore, and I've been sober for quite some time, okay? Um, but anyway, uh, what do you call it? They, they were going around lying on you, saying that you still did this, that, and the other, or whatever, but now you're very balanced, so this is coming in because you're in the upright and you're extremely balanced, and God knows that you will spend this money the way it was intended to be spent, and whatever you're doing with your spiritual gifts, you're also going to be rich just from that alone, and you're extremely spiritually rich, okay? manipulation this rich guy was going around paying people they're going to try 